Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to share my favorite recipe, which is Karela. What is this? Karela, my favorite. Yes, dear friends, I love Karela. Whichever way you make, I love to eat Karela. So today I'm going to share a pickle which my mom used to make it regularly and I used to pick the karela and I used to have that. It's so so nice and this you can store for 15 days also. Whenever you want to have you know a regular pickle instead of that just get some karela that is bitter gourd and you can make an instant pickle. So dear friends let's start how to make it. So first to make the karela pickle that is the bitter gourd pickle we need the bitter gourd. So what I did is I have just slightly grated the skin not too much just slightly and I cut it into half inch roundels like this see with the seeds in do not remove the seeds just with the seeds and try to get it thin bitter gourd so that you do not get too much of seeds. So what we are going to do is we are going to add some oil in a pan. And we are going to shallow fry this first these bitter gourd we are not going to overcook it just slight color so you can add all do not think that this oil we are wasting in the same oil we are going to put the tempering and you all know now for pickles we add little bit extra oil so this oil is not going to waste. you can use it for the pickle ingredients so dear friends here you can see these are little bit color we are not going to you know brown this just little bit so that this will cook at least 50 percent most of the pickles with vegetables or even non-vegetarian we first shallow fry or deep fry and make our pickles so this is done and now we are going to just transfer this into a plate you can see I have not overcooked it or colored it too much you know for chicken, shrimp, mutton, we deep fry and then we make the pickle. If you want I can show you those pickles also. You know a lot of who stay in US, they love to have pickles that is you know mutton, chicken pickle. I see lot of people who are traveling from India, they ask their parents to make mutton pickle and chicken pickle and shrimp pickle and parcel it to them. So, you need not ask them, you can make it very very simple, if you want I am going to show it to you. So dear friends, in the same oil you can see it is not too much, this is perfect for our pickle. Now switch on the flame, in this we are going to add the regular temperings that is cumin seeds and mustard seeds, here are the mustard seeds and some cumin seeds. I love to add curry leaves, lot of but in the oil itself, so be careful and move back. And now we are going to add some dry red chilies. Now we are going to add some ginger garlic paste. You can add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste if you are using half a kg of bitter gourd. With this we are going to saute it little bit in the oil till we see the raw flavor is gone. And add some turmeric also very little and mix it. If you want you can cover it with a lid so that it won't spill on you. So difference the ginger garlic paste has nicely cooked just switch off the flame and we are going to rest this for 5 minutes and then we are going to add our spices after 5 to 10 minutes this is completely cooled down and in this now we are going to add the chili powder because it's a pickle lot of chili powder chili powder and salt as per taste you can add the salt if you are taking 1 tablespoon of chili powder take less than 1 tablespoon of salt and in this we are going to add very little of methi powder. You can just slightly roast the methi seeds that is fenugreek seeds and you can blend it and you can add it or otherwise you can get it in store pot and you can use it. So half a teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 tablespoon of mustard powder and first we are going to mix this and we need lot of oil as I told you because it's a pickle so we need some oil in this now we are going to add the bitter gourd the fried bitter gourd just mix it little bit and also my father loves to add sesame seed powder to this pickle so here is some sesame seed powder what I did is 
I have just dry roasted the sesame seeds and I grinded it little bit so that you can add it. Always I store the sesame seed powder in the fridge. This way instantly we can make all the recipes. After adding the sesame seeds and all this masalas, just mix it nicely and you can have it just like this also. Store it for one or two days and you can have it like this or otherwise we are going to squeeze some lime juice and you can have it as a pickle. If you want more of gravy then you need to add more of chili powder and mustard powder and sesame seed powder. So dear friends after adding the lemon juice just mix it nicely you can see now we got the moisture and we need some more moisture so what I am going to do is I am going to add some oil and we are going to store this for three days and then you can have this pickle or even one week also if you want to you can store it and you can have this. Now I am going to put it in a jar and this will be ready to have it after two days. So before putting it in the jar you can just check the taste. So just mm. You know initially we feel that lot of salt is there but pickles we need to add little bit extra salt and once we store the salt, the chilli powder and the lemon juice all will be absorbed to our pieces and we will get an excellent pickle. So dear friends this I am going to store for 2 days and then I am going to have it with rice. You guys try this out and have it if you like it this bitter gourd you will love this pickle. So see you in another session with some more recipes and do share it and also feed your family fresh food.